Hi, I'm Ines of Lupacota, and today we are in Los Angeles, and we're gonna make a cook madame pizza. I have some ice, and first things first, I have it in a little plastic bag. We're just going to kind of break it up into smaller pieces, and it's really fun if you have something hard like this because we all need a little de-stressor these days. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and then immediately get to work with my pizza. So this is gonna be like a blind bake, but with butter and ice cubes. So a cook madame calls for bechamel but since we're not gonna make bechamel today, we're gonna kind of play with perhaps the flour in the dough and the butter to maybe get started on the bechamel process. So I'm going to take some butter and I'm gonna take some ice cubes to weigh the pizza down. Not too many, I'm gonna spread them out. And a little olive oil. Make sure that my pizza is in fact circular. Shimmy shake. Now we wait. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take my mozzarella, very quickly cut it up while keeping an eye on the pizza. Got my temperature at the lowest setting. Be sure to tuck your fingers when you're cutting and not looking. Careful turning it because we have some moisture and water happening. So you're gonna very carefully put the pizza back in. I'm gonna get back to my mozzarella, keeping an eye on that. Hopefully some of the waters should be evaporating. And we're gonna be creating like an oily, gooey, starchy texture. That's gonna be really delicious like a pizza bechamel. I think in this case, the bigger pizza peel works because we have so much liquid on the dough. You wanna be very careful managing the pizza and taking it out. Make sure the water is spread out. Take a peek. Looking good. be a little bit longer for our blind-ish blind bake. And then, in the meantime, while I'm waiting there, I'm gonna crack an egg. I'm gonna take the pizza out. I'm gonna finish it with some Gruyere mozzarella. So we're gonna have a nice, creamy center. A little pecorino and some Parmesan. So instead of the milk and the bechamel, which you add in the third step of making a bechamel, which is flour and butter, we're gonna be playing with cheese instead as our fat milk substitute. So now is for the tricky part. I'm going to add my egg. I'm gonna break up the white part because there's almost two parts. And then I'm gonna create kind of a little nest with my prosciutto. And usually for a cook madame, we use cooked ham, but I feel like because we're doing pizza, we're gonna do prosciutto. And it's gonna be salty and delicious, and beautiful. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil on top so it helps cook the egg. And we're going back in. I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit. And now because the pizza is a little bit easier to maneuver, the water is starting to settle. I'm gonna go back to this pizza peel. Things are still a little juicy. So you have to be careful and mindful. I'm watching the egg yolk. It's probably gonna to start to cook a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it back down. Taking a look, it's looking good. I'm gonna dome the egg so that it starts to cook from the top even more. Looking juicy. And now I'm even gonna turn the oven off so that the egg, the pizza stops cooking, but the egg still is still cooking in the heat. This pizza is gonna be crispy on the bottom and kind of juicy on the top. Take it out. Et voila. A little salt, a little pepper. 
Look how gorgeous that is. We're just gonna spread the yolk around. Beautiful. Check this out. It's gonna be an ooey, gooey, delicious mess. It's gonna be a little hot, so. And if you wanna cook the egg a little bit more, just cook it at a lower temperature for a little bit longer. Mm. That was a good cheese bowl. So delicious. The good thing about a cook madame is it's heavy essentially, but it feels so light and delicious and perfectly balanced. A plus.